mature liver flukes inhabit the bile ducts of the liver. It is here where the flukes lay their eggs. The eggs then enter the bile and are eliminated into the environment via the feces. In the presence of water and oxygen, and if the temperature is equal to or greater than 10 degrees Celsius, the eggs within the feces develop into myricidium. The optimal temperature for development is 26 degrees Celsius. If the myricidium is stimulated by light and the egg is surrounded by water, the myricidium will hatch. The myricidium are ciliated, motile, contain two eye spots, and are fluke-like in shape. Once hatched, myricidium enter the water source which surround the egg. Liver fluke has an intermediate host which are freshwater snails. Being motile, the myricidium are able to swim within the water looking for freshwater snails via chemotaxis. Once the myricidium reaches the snail, it burrows into the snail normally around the foot and forms a sporocyst. Burrowing is accomplished using enzymes. Through the process of sporosis formation, the myricidium lose their cilia. Sporosis contain germinal cells and these become radii, which are 1 to 3 millimeters long. Multiple generations of radii can occur. Within the radii, cercarii develop. Sucarii emerge from the snail if there is a water source surrounding the snail. Sucarii are, are 0.2 millimeters long and motile. The sucarii will, will remain in the water, swimming around until it hits a hard surface, i.e. vegetation. Upon hitting a hard surface, the sucarii attaches, drops its tail, and secretes a protective cyst wall. It is now called a metasucarii which is the infective stage of liver fluke for the definitive host. <coughs> While sheep graze, they can ingest the metasarcarii off of infested vegetation. <coughs> Once ingested in the small intestine, the metasarcarii expels itself from its cyst like wall and is now referred to as the immature fluke. The immature fluke makes its way through the intestine wall into the abdominal cavity and proceeds to the liver. At the liver, the immature fluke penetrates the capsule and moves through the parenchyma, feeding and growing. The immature liver fluke stays in the liver parenchyma for six to seven weeks. After this period, it makes its way to the bile ducts. In the bile ducts, the immature fluke matures into an adult fluke, which begins releasing eggs. 